You'd say her name and she'll just waddle up to you. <laughs> Come here. My name's Savannah and this is Ziggy's story for GOBs. A magpie had fallen onto the highway. Um, a lot of cars going by and someone picked her up and rang our friend. But they just had too much on their hands and they were like, oh, I know someone who keeps taking in animals. <laughs> It was our first time. She got fed quite a lot. I loved feeding her. She'd always have a little crying for more. She would just sleep on your shoulder. She loved being around people, try to play with you because magpies are such playful birds. She's just always waddling around the place. We started letting her go outside and getting to know her real instincts so we didn't have to feed her as much. She'd find a puddle and she's out there bathing in it or early in the morning and she'll come sing or squawk to be like, I'm ready to wake up now. Ziggy would follow the sheep around. We're like, oh, where's Ziggy? And we go to the sheep and Ziggy's just pecking around with the sheep. That was a really cute thing to see, that they kind of bonded like that. She knew where she was fed and she knew where she was loved and had a home, so she'd always come back to us and be at our door, like, let me in now. She had a very, like, um, unique kind of voice. <laughs> There was just something about her that was quite different to all the other magpies. She was with us for a few months and then all of a sudden one day we just never saw her again. Where we are now is a lot of um, forest, so it's really hard to sort of know exactly where she might be. They're just so connected to the world and you could really feel that with her. We were really hoping to just see her or hear her singing, we're like, oh, that's Ziggy, you know. I miss her. I hope she's okay. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs>